How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with the best way to read Excel files in R. We can do this basically one of uh, two ways. We can switch this to a CSV file and read it in, or we can read it in straight from Excel. Um, the easier way is just to, to switch it to a CSV, but uh, we'll go through both. So here we have a just a typical Excel file. I got advanced stat data from college basketball reference and put it into a, an Excel file here. Um, so like I said, the easiest way is we can just save this as a CSV. Easy peasy. And then to read this into R, what we're gonna do is we'll just say off. Um, we'll do a read.csv. I have it in documents and uh, Excel and offense.csv. Boom. Like I said, GG, too easy, reading this in here. Um, so what we have is our column names across the top, and we have our data down below. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Uh, sometimes when we're reading in these CSV files, we don't have column names. Um, so what can happen, you gross numbers, no one likes that. Let's do uh, just text edit here. So sometimes what can happen is uh, we don't have column names. And so that's that's bad luck if that happens. Um, and honestly, I just add some column names in here. But alas, let's say you don't have the column names. Uh, what we're going to have to do here, if you read it in just like this, uh, we're basically going to name our first row as our column names. So we have Albeline Christian, and uh, that should be our first row. But instead, they named it columns. Um, so what we have to do here is we'll say a header is equal to false. And if we take a look now, it will just give names. So v1, v2, uh, I assume this means vector. So our first vector there, our first column name is that, our first second column is that, and so forth all the way through. <clears throat> okay, easy peasy. You can do column names in here if you want. We'll just name the second column because we see the it's the school down there. So if we rename our column to uh, our second column is school, that's how it'll show up. And so instead of being V2, it's now it's now school. Alrighty, another way you can read it in uh, is just straight from the Excel file, and we need help from another package. This is the read Excel package. So if you don't have that, just do an install.libraries read Excel. And then you'll have this uh, capability here. And so what we do is instead of doing a read.csv, we'll do a read underscore uh, Excel. And then pretty much it's the uh, same from there. Documents, Excel, oops, Excel off.xlsx. I think that's the extension for an Excel file. Okay, perfect. down in the console. Alrighty, now we have read in from there. Sometimes you're gonna have a lot of different sheets though, and so you might have to specify what sheet, All right? So sometimes the data is not just perfectly in here like this. You'll have a bunch of different hoop-lop, glee-lop, and floop de doo that you gotta go through, right? So this one, we want the offensive sheet. And so we'll specify sheet, <laughs> shit, sheet is equal to uh, <laughs> offense. And then that'll, that'll specify that we want that sheet and it'll read the data off there. You can see it comes in in a nice clean format here. Um, this is part of the, the dplyr, the tidyverse uh, output that, that, gets, that gets put out. This is called a tibble. And so it's really nice. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to smash like. If you need more R uh, videos or tutorials, make sure to uh, subscribe because I just got the best content <laughs> out there. Uh, thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you later.